How's it going, guys? And welcome to something new. It's uh, a Japanese kind of not let's play, but like a re read through, I guess. Uh, it's a Japanese horror comic. I was really excited if, when I just discovered this, and I guess it's gonna be pretty creepy because their reviews are, you know, the comments about this is just really like it's terrifying. So I guess let's start. Warning, this webtoon is a special horror episode for this summer season. Since it contains shocking themes, reader discre discretion is advised for pregnant women. Are you pregnant or elderly or you're suffering from serious medical conditions? You you just you just gotta go to hospital, come on. I'm sorry. Okay, Mystery Sketch 2011. Bong Chong Dong Ghost. Written and illustrated by Horan Studio Horan. The story is based on two eyewitness accounts. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after trying nice study sessions at school. I'm gonna read this as a girl voice, I guess I'm a girl. But there was no one on the street, which I saw was strange. I usually see a lot of people even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow was stretching towards my cold my eyes, boy. Also, there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was. I saw a woman walking in front of me. She looked a little strange. Look at this, it's freaking a little strange. It's like a dead body going with a cro crooked limb and no hand and probably no vagina. I didn't say nothing. No. Uh, I could say she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, that ass. Oh, yeah. She was wearing pretty dirty pink pajamas. And look. Voice crack, beautiful. And as if all her joints in her body had been twisted, worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out of, to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. It felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor I didn't have to guess to pass her by. <coughs> what the fuck? What? What the fuck? Come on! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, what the fuck? No one told me it's gonna be a jump scare. Come on. <laughs> you know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my chicken? <clears throat> I mean, baby. My thoughts were raised into a question. Oh my god, I didn't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills thinking that moment. <clears throat> I, I answered, pointing as far as I could. Up there. I just wanted to, her to get away from me. But then she limped toward where I pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave the apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, she is not here. <laughs> I heard her screaming for five uh, What the f oh, come on! Come on! Why do you do that? Oh, come on! What the fuck? Oh, goosebumps! Oh yeah, goosebumps everywhere! <sighs> come on! No more jump scares, please! I don't remember anything from them on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, when the power complex in Bong Chong 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 a 33 year old woman jumped out of the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, as divorced due to her ex marital affair, she had lost her custody of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. Other than incident, Cho was seen walking around. With... What the fuck? Uh, come on. 
I'm in two time. What the fuck? Oh god. If I would play this at actual night, I would probably scream like a little bitch. I guess it's, this jump scare just got me good. It, no one told me it was gonna be a jump scare. I thought it was just be a creepy story. And I, I, I was like, oh, come on, I'm gonna read this. It's just. But fucking jump scares, <laughs> come on. I still have the goosebumps. You know where you have the goosebumps after the scare? You know that's a really scary game or story or anything. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of new stuff to my channel. And I really enjoyed it. If I will find more of these, I will definitely do some. <sighs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the rainbow and have fun with me together. And also leave a comment, at the fair and share, this will help me a ton. And I'll see you probably in the next video. Bye bye <laughs>